Okay. Next, we have some other items we need mock-ups for. We have aprons, pillowcases, wine bags, and tote bags. Now, we only need one mock-up per design for each of these. So that means, whereas the shirts, we tried to always have two for the aprons, pillowcases, tote bags, and wine bags, you only have to do one for each design. Okay, so uh, let's talk a little bit about... Uh, these because they're you can run into some issues with these um let me first real quick tell you about the tote bags i'm going to turn this off i'll turn the design off too here so you can see what i'm talking about i'll just tell you about the tote bags because that's the only thing that's slightly different as you can see the tote bags are usually made at their white bags with this uh, colored handle and bottom so for and here are all our choices. So if we were going to do a Green Bay Packer one like the rest, I would probably use this one, this darker green, because that's the closest to their color. So just put the design on there, and we're good to go. You, again, you only have to put one design. So in this case, you know, that one would be fine, right? You just shrink this down. You put it between the handles. Make sure it's centered, you know, make it look nice, boom, you're good. Just center it between the top and bottom and in the, in the handles, that one's done, okay? That's all I really have to tell you about the tote bags for now. So, but I do have to talk a little bit more about aprons, pillowcases, and wine bags because there are uh, some issues could pop up. Um, let me turn this design off and let's just go right over to uh the apron okay well pretty self-explanatory most of the designs will look good on here um let's zoom in a little bit you know if, if you can see where the apron is you have this area and the bottom like i usually try to just make it look good something like that you know yada 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 we only have this white version. So the same design, that usually the same version of the design that you use for the white shirts will work on the white apron. However, that's not always the case. And I'll show you what I mean. So for the, for the apron, that's usually all you have to do. Okay. But the pillowcases are a little different story. Let me show you. I'm going to put a different design on here. Sometimes this will happen. And uh, let's see. Okay, look at this design. This is not for the Green Bay Packers. It's for a different team. But look look at what happens when we put this on the pillow. Shrink it down here so we can see it. Now, this looks great on a shirt. It looks good on a white shirt. It looks good on... Uh, you know, white hoodie, everything. But for some reason, on a pillow, it's really hard to see because of the color. This isn't a white pillow. It's an off-white pillow, right? So you can't, it's hard to read this, and it's hard to see these colors. So you have a couple options, all right? And I don't want you to spend a lot of time on this step, but here's what I do. So, like I said, you know, when you place that design on, it gives like a really very weird, hard to read look. So here's what I would do. I would um, create a copy of this design, and you can do one of two things. First, the easiest is to just do a simple color overlay. And, you know, pick the color that is, you know, the Green Bay Packer color, for example. All right. That's pretty easy to read. That one could be done. Boom, boom, boom. You're done. It looks good on the pillow. You know, it would look good, you know, on the apron if there's an issue. And it would also look good on this um, wine bag because that's the same issue you're going to run into with the wine bag. Sometimes those colors just don't look right. Okay. So that's step one. You could just do a very simple color overlay okay uh let me uh 
go back. Now, another thing that you could theoretically do is, you know, just pick the weird things, the, the weird parts. Again, don't spend a lot of time on it. You know, uh, get in, in the middle there. And then just do, you know, a stroke. And again, maybe pick that green color. Well, not 10. What am I doing? You don't want to necessarily do a a 10 point, you know, maybe four point stroke or whatever. Now, if, if you look, you know, that will show up. You'll be able to read that on the pillowcase. Either way is acceptable. Um, I missed some down here, as you can see. Um, doing the color overlay is definitely easier and faster. This probably looks a little better, but, you know, I don't want you to spend a lot of time on it. Um, but, you know, we do want to have pillow mock-ups for every design. We want to have wine bag mock-ups for every design. And, again, like, you know, it's that same type of thing. Like, this would look okay on this wine bag. The wine bag, you just kind of put it toward the top, centered, make it as big as you can, center it. And you should be good, right? So you can read that. It looks good. Blah, blah, blah. That's done. So we want a wine bag. We want um, a tote bag. You could even use that same one for a tote bag. You could use that for the pillow. You could even use it for the apron if you want. Uh, so that's just one thing to remember. The other thing that's very important, if you do this and you do have to modify one of these designs, I want you, you must save a copy of this and send it along with the mock-ups, just the plain, the plain uh, design, because we need to pass this along to the printer when somebody orders the wine bag or the pillow or whatever. So name your design. Uh, let's say this was called, um, you know, whatever. Uh, I don't always scream or scream. Let's say you name this one scream. Uh, you know, we always have a white version and a dark version. Well, I want you to name this one scream dash off white. Then that way I'll know to put this on the off white stuff. Okay. That's very important that, that we do that. Okay. And just send that along. If you alter a design, send it along with all the rest of the mockups. Okay. Um, the other thing we have uh, that I'll go very fast, and then we'll talk about how to name these. We have these can wraps. Can wraps are just exactly what you'd think they are. They're, you know, you, you put your cans of soda or beer in there, whatever. Again, pick your color. This, you know, for the Packers, you'd pick the Kelly green. We have red and black and Kelly green and gray and light blue and navy blue and purple and pink. And just, it, we have a bunch of these colors. All we need is one. Make the design nice and big on it. You know, center it, make it look good, and, you know, that one would be done. Of course, you're going to use the proper colors. This is a Boston hockey. This isn't a, a Green Bay Packer one, but you get the idea. Okay, so those are all the different things we have. Now we have to talk about how to name them. And this is important, so I think I'm going to dedicate an entire video in how to name them, okay? So be watching for the next video.